So the football team has done a phenomenal job this past offseason. It's been a long process. The guys have worked incredibly hard. Uh, everybody knows the saying in terms of you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. We try to provide the most attractive and best tasting water we can, and it's up to the guys to to drink and they've done a really, really good job of that. Everybody's a little different. You know, you got guys that need to add body weight. You got guys that need to lose body weight. You guys that need to get stronger, guys that need to get in better condition, guys that need better flexibility. E each individual guy's got goals, okay? Um, we'll sit down at the end of season, uh, right before we start our off-season training, and just ask them, what are some of your goals? What are some of your goals? It, it can be academically related. It can be on the field. It can be in the weight room. Any type of goals that they want to set, and we're going to hold them to it. Um, we've got our own separate group of guys that we train. I will be able to talk to the guys more about stuff outside the weight room and outside of conditioning, and get to know them a little bit better and that, that's going to give me an insight as to what motivates them, what, what they really need to take care of. Because at the end of the day, it's not about sets and reps and things like that. We're, we're trying to develop them into better football players, better people off the field, and, and help them develop into men when they come in as 17, 18-year-old kids. I think uh, knowing that we care. Knowing that we care ultimately helps to gain respect from a player. I've obviously never played Division I football. I've not gone through camp, um, so I can't relate to them in that way. But I think they, they see me around, they know that I'm invested, they know that Adam, Coach Hark, everyone on our staff is invested, and it's not just that hour they're in the weight room every day. It's, it's every single day. It's knowing their goals. It's wanting them to succeed. When they see that, you're really bought into them and they're not just somebody that you train for an hour and send on their way, then that's where that respect comes because they know that you're in it as much as they are and that you want them to succeed as much as they do. You're not just here to lift weights, you're not just here to condition, but you're here to compete. And every day we're working towards being more and more competitive uh, and just developing that mentality in guys. And this summer has been awesome. Not begging guys to compete anymore, they want to win. They step onto the field, for a 6 a.m. conditioning, knowing that they're there to beat somebody else. In terms of getting ready for that September 5th kickoff, it's just taken a, a quick moment to reflect. It's been a long, long journey. From day one, Coach Martin getting here and his staff and being able to see the exponential progress the guys have made each and every day, not just this offseason, but even last year as we went through the season. And a major goal from day one was getting us back to being competitive, which we've done a phenomenal job of that. And now not only being competitive, but to close the deal and to get the win. Uh, the guys, all they got to do is take a quick second to think back to January 5th, you know, going through spring ball, thinking back to the start of the summer and the countless hours, all right, the countless amount of work that they've put in should be all the motivation they need, should be all the confidence that they need to know that when they line up, they're going to be the superior athlete and that they're going to get the win.